Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here. Just got the Shaw Scope Volume 1 collection from Era Video in the mail today. It's almost Christmas, but I'm glad it arrived right before Christmas so I could check it out. It's a rainy day here in Los Angeles, and the packaging <laughs> wasn't so great. If you can see, there's actually a little bit of a bim bump on the corner here this came in from zavi which is kind of notorious for having poor packaging but it looks like it potentially could just be the j card here that's got a little bit of a ridge to it so i'm gonna open it up and scope it out check it out myself and so to see how things look with the packaging this was not cheap it was uh, about 130 dollars plus shipping and tax and uh, import and all that but uh, if you guys know me you guys know that i am a martial arts fan of the old 70s 80s shaw brothers studios this comes with uh multiple discs here we've got 10 discs total with uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve movies and two soundtrack cds here a lot of information to uh absorb on the back uh limited contents uh, we've got uh special features disc one king boxer disc two the boxer from shantung disc three shaolin masters shaolin temple disc four mighty peking man challenge of the masters and executioners from shaolin chinatown kid five deadly venoms crippled avengers and heroes of the east and dirty ho and then some soundtracks there so let's get started it's a nice it's a nice uh packaging overall we got some shimmering going on it's about the size of two discs here we go i've got like some i'm upgrading from some old dvds here's here's five shallow masters heroes of the east some of my old dvds that i can finally put to rest and uh, I can swap them out. Executioners, Michelle Lin, Challenge of the Masters. So that'll give you an idea of the size, scope of things. And then I've got uh, Crippled Masters here, Dirty Ho. So I am much looking forward to putting those, donating, getting rid of those old DVDs and watching these in uh, remastered. 1080 Blu-ray quality. Uh, now, granted, if if you're unfamiliar with Shaw Brothers movies, I mean these are these are sort of fantasy um, action. Most of them are kind of light on story and content. Usually, great characters. All right, let's see here what the uh, the Jake. Oh yeah, it's got a big old ding right on the corner there, man. I was hoping it would just be the J card, but Zavi, you disappointed me with the uh, with the whole corner being dinged out there. I might have to send him this video and just sort of say like, "Hey, you guys want to make right on that?" I mean, this is uh, you know they're kind of known for having some poor packaging, and unfortunately, that holds true. I'm, I'm talking about the uh, packaging from Zavi for the um, cushioning and stuff like that, not so much this Shawsco packaging, which is what we're looking at here from our video. Okay, so let's slide this out. This is a nice hard box here. And we've, get, uh, we've got some images here on the back. Here's the front. So this is, the way this is packaged is, is, is a little bit of like a Digibook slipcase sort of thing. Okay, so we start off with a nice full color image. King Boxer here. Low lay. Not a huge fan of this movie, but I'm willing to give it another shot re-watching it. And uh, we get to see the disc here with the special features, interviews, brand new 4K transfer. Um, a lot of stuff, image gallery going on here, artwork. And let's see how easy it is pulling this out. I've watched a few unboxing videos of some of this stuff already. 
It's not too bad. It slid out pretty easily. It's got a nice image on the back there. And there's nothing, there's no like cloth. I was kind of wondering if there was like a little cloth or something in there so to catch it. So when you slide it in, it just, it just kind of stays in there like that with a little wiggle room. Mm, would like this packaging to have been a little, a little more thought out of, you know, I mean, it's, it's cardboard and paper, but it's the movie's account here, the Bakshi from Shang Tung. Uh, this I haven't seen for quite a while. This has a little bit less on the special features, but another brand new 2K restoration from a 4K scan. Uh, so these are all, you know, they, they've gone, from what, from what we're told, they've gone and remastered all of these to try and make them look as best as possible. Shaolin Temple, now this one I don't have on DVD. It's been a while since I've seen this. I think I've only seen this on uh, TV in the past. So, and five Shaolin Masters. Uh, this image is pretty interesting. I haven't really seen that. That's quite a uh, departure from the... Uh, what I've been looking at with the, the Blu-ray, this one here. So um, that's interesting to see, see that image. And we've got some more listings of the special features. Uh, let's see, high definition. So this one doesn't say remastered from 4K or something like that. So maybe that's why they've kind of stuck two on one disc. But hopefully, you know, the transfer and the quality and everything looks great. We've got a little featurette, T-Lung, that's nice. And um, so that'll be good to check that out. Let me flip this over. Uh, of course, this is the questionable inclusion right here, Mighty Peking Man, which uh, is in a martial arts movie, sort of a King Kong knockoff. This is a fun image. Apparently this is a cult classic or a favorite. A lot of, you know, Asian Hong Kong cinema people. I've never seen this movie. I watched the trailer. It looks a little silly and wacky. I guess it'll be something I watch as a, as a one-timer. Whoop, the uh, little booklet there just fell off the table. I hope I didn't smash anything. So we got Executioners from Shaolin and Challenge of the Masters. Interesting artwork here, very aggressive, very um, very uh, heavy on the, uh, the, the, the painting there. So here's kind of what I've been looking at with that. Of course, this is a deceptive, if you're familiar with this movie, this is a deceptive cover because our guy's barely in the movie right there. I do like this cover compared to that one. It'll uh, be interesting. So here we go, disc five. So this is another, another two movies on one. Uh, brand new 2K restoration from the original negatives, high def, new transferred subtitles. Again, just looking forward to popping this on, checking things out. Okay, Chinatown Kid. I'm a big fan of Alexander Fushang, rest in peace, died very young. This is kind of his, one of his big starring role, swang song movies, and apparently this has, here we go, the 115 minute international cut, which I don't know which version I've seen on TV, but you know, apparently this is gonna be a big deal watching the international cut and getting the, uh, full spectrum of this movie and just having this movie kind of um, in our hands to check out will be very worthwhile. Uh, now here's where we really get some classics. The Five Venoms, also called The Five Deadly Venoms. I had this on Blu-ray but I actually tossed it up on eBay because I knew I was getting this set. I wanted to pass that along and then Crippled Avengers which is also wildly known as sort of the, the return of the Five Deadly Venoms as a uh, Dragon Dynasty here. I like this cover a lot. Um, big debate on uh, which one people like more. Um, this is very heavy story driven, a lot of intrigue. This one has a little more of the action and martial arts. It's a, it's a tough one. It's a toss up on which one I prefer more. But uh, these say brand new 2K restoration. So it'd be interesting to sort of compare these to the old uh, Blu-rays and DVDs that I've been watching. Okay, we're getting down to uh, some real, I mean, these are some classic here. Heroes of the East, which should be pretty much required watching for uh, anyone in, that is fans of old 1970s and 80s martial arts movies and Dirty Ho, a couple of classics there. And they, they're sort of matching things, they're pairing things up with the directors. 
Uh, we had, of course, the Chang Che on the other side with the, the Venom movies. And um, we've got the uh, Lauren Carr um, movies here together. So that's disc nine. And then, uh, sorry, that was disc eight. And then we'll flip it over. And these are the soundtracks, soundtracks, disc, mu music from Shaolin Temple, Mighty Pink King Man, and Chinatown Kid. It's very rare that I listen to CDs. I don't have a CD player in my car. Might have to rip these on my computer and put them on my phone or something like that. Five Day Venom, Crippled Avengers, Dirty Ho music. I don't know, like to me, this is a little strange to have musical CDs. I would rather just actually had movies, more movies, but you know, they, they did what they can. And then here's a missed opportunity. We've got a blank page here, which is strange because King Boxer was in the front. I almost feel like maybe a little montage with the different directors or the different um, actors maybe uh, could have been put in there or just, you know, even the Shawscope logo or something. So now here's the booklet. It slid, slid off the table here. So this is exciting on this booklet. No ding on that. I like that, first of all, I like that they went with the, the Shaw scope is always like widescreen. And I like that they went with everything being sort of wide and, you know, really emphasizing. I hear some uh, matching images from sort of the, the production stills, the Blu-rays and the DVDs. Uh, this is great. I will uh, enjoy checking this out. If you're, you know, if you've seen like Kill Bill 1 and 2 or, you know, some of, some of the modern martial arts movies that are out there, even, even things like The Matrix or um, John Wick movies, a lot of that stuff, the, the new modern movies have pulled from some of these early Shaw Brothers movies and from the 80s, the 70s. So uh, this is like a nice legacy collection here to just get, get you know, kind of in our hands. And um, I was watching the Fanatical Dr uh, Dragons unboxing and he was saying that in the trivia here that they had that actually mentions some movies that might be showing up in um, some of the volume two, which would, would be nice to, uh, you know, definitely get our hands on volume two, although I'm, I'm questioning if I'll order it through Zavi or not, since I've got dinged corners on my brand new box. We'll see, uh, we'll see if they make, make good on that or, or not. So they might not honor anything since I've actually opened this up and, um, already kind of like flipped through it and check things out. There's Dirty Ho right there. Funny, funny name. Um, and this is, this is nice just seeing, oh, here's the Venoms, some of the original artwork there, poster artwork. So really nice packaging, nice collection. Um, again, the only downside is having this dinged corner, which is possibly something that could happen on my own. But when you get something brand new in the mail, you know, yeah, you, you kind of want it to be, you know, nice and sharp and slick. So I think that's it for this video and um thanks so much for watching if you watch this uh let me know you know what some of your favorite uh shaw scope movies are shaw brothers movies are from this collection maybe what you want to see in volume two for coin app tv we'll see you next time